Hello, and welcome to our new video. You will find 10 interesting presentation topics for college students. Of course, you can use any of these topics for high school or university level presentations as well. Before we start, please like this video and subscribe. Your support will be much appreciated. The topic of gay marriage remains controversial for several decades. Let's take a look at several aspects of this topic you may find interesting to explore in your presentation. First is the legalization of gay marriage. You can discuss the process and implications of legalizing same-sex marriage in different countries. Next is history of gay marriage. For your presentation, you can choose to trace the history of the fight for marriage equality, highlighting key milestones and challenges. Another possible topic is the impact on society. You can, for example, explore how the acceptance or rejection of gay marriage influences societal attitudes towards LGBTQ plus right. Further, you may examine various religious beliefs and their stances on gay marriage, including arguments for and against. Finally, the presentation on legal rights and protections afforded to married same-sex couples compared to heterosexual couples sounds as an interesting topic. The next topic is the benefits and risks of using nuclear power energy. Let's start with the advantages. In your presentation on this topic, you can mention the benefit of low greenhouse gas emissions. Nuclear power plants produce low levels of greenhouse gas emissions compared to fossil fuel-based power plants, making them a relatively cleaner source of energy. In addition, the nuclear fuel has a very high energy density, meaning a small amount of fuel can produce a large amount of energy, making nuclear power plants efficient in terms of fuel consumption. It is reasonable to mention that nuclear power plants can operate continuously for long periods without interruption, providing a reliable source of baseload power to the grid. Another point is that nuclear power reduces dependence on imported fossil fuels enhancing energy security for countries with limited domestic energy resources. The final two advantages are the relatively low cost of fuel in comparison to fossils and long operational lifespans, typically operating for several decades, providing stable energy production over time. Now let's take a look at the potential disadvantages of nuclear power. You should mention at least three points in your presentation. The first disadvantage is high initial costs. Building nuclear power plants requires substantial upfront investment, including construction costs, safety measures, and regulatory compliance, making them financially challenging to develop. In addition, despite stringent safety protocols, nuclear accidents such as Chernobyl and Fukushima have raised concerns about the catastrophic consequences of reactor meltdowns, including radiation leaks and environmental contamination. In your presentation, you can refer to the radioactive waste and mention that nuclear power generation produces radioactive waste that remains hazardous for thousands of years, requiring secure storage facilities and posing long-term environmental and health risks. The proliferation of nuclear technology raises concerns about nuclear weapons proliferation as the same technology used for peaceful energy generation can be weaponized for military purposes. Finally, uranium, the primary fuel for nuclear reactors, is finite and non-renewable, leading to concerns about future fuel availability and potential resource depletion. Our new topic for discussion is how airports can fight terrorism with new technologies. If you are writing the presentation on this topic, focus on how airports can utilize various new technologies to enhance security measures and combat terrorism effectively. Here are some ways airports can leverage technology in the fight against terrorism. You can start your presentation with the mentioning that implementing advanced passenger screening technologies such as millimeter, wave scanners, and biometric authentication systems can enhance security by detecting concealed threats and verifying travelers' identities more accurately. You may also discuss deploying state-of-the-art explosive detection systems, including advanced X-ray machines and trace detection technologies, enables airports to identify explosive materials and baggage and cargo more efficiently 
while minimizing false alarms. Another possible topic is utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Airports can analyze passenger behavior patterns to identify suspicious or unusual activities, allowing security personnel to intervene proactively and mitigate potential threats. Implementing biometric authentication methods such as facial recognition and fingerprint scanning enhances security by ensuring that only authorized individuals gain access to restricted areas, reducing the risk of unauthorized entry or identity fraud. As drones pose a growing security threat to airports, deploying drone detection technologies, including radar systems, acoustic sensors, and radio frequency scanners, enables airports to detect and mitigate unauthorized drone incursions effectively. Strengthening cybersecurity defenses is crucial to safeguard airport infrastructure and systems from cyber attacks, which could disrupt operations or compromise sensitive information. Utilizing advanced encryption protocols, intrusion detection systems, and cybersecurity training for personnel helps mitigate cyber risks effectively. Now let's consider the topic of international adoptions. The topic is controversial and yet very interesting for presentation preparation. If you consider choosing this topic, pay attention to the following points. First, talk about the cultural identity development in internationally adopted children. Next, discuss the psychosocial adjustment of internationally adopted children. Examine the psychological and social adjustment outcomes of internationally adopted children including factors influencing resilience, attachment patterns, and emotional well-being. Further, explore the dynamics of parent-child relationships in international adoptive families, including attachment processes, communication patterns, and parenting strategies. You may evaluate the availability and effectiveness of post-adoption services and support systems for internationally adopted children and their families, addressing needs such as counseling, education, and cultural integration. It is also possible to focus your presentation on assessing ethical dilemmas and controversies surrounding international adoption practices, including issues related to consent, child trafficking, and exploitation in the adoption process. Let's continue exploring the aspects of international adoption that you could mention in your presentation. First, you can analyze the legal frameworks and policies governing international adoption across different countries, exploring variations in regulations, procedures, and enforcement mechanisms. Further, you may find it relevant to investigate the long-term effects of institutionalization on the development and well-being of internationally adopted children, including cognitive, emotional, and behavioral outcomes. Third, Examine the experiences of transracially adopted children in navigating racial identity formation, racial socialization, and experiences of racial discrimination within adoptive families and society. Finally, evaluate the prevalence of health issues and medical needs among internationally adopted children, including infectious diseases, developmental delays, and prenatal exposures. Let's take a closer look at the topic of video games and their impact on children. When video games just appeared, it was believed that their impact is purely negative. However, is that entirely true? In your presentation on video games, you can investigate how playing video games influences cognitive skills such as problem solving, spatial awareness, and multitasking abilities in children of different age groups. Further, you may also explore the educational potential of video games as tools for learning, including their effectiveness in teaching academic subjects, fostering creativity, and promoting critical thinking skills. The factor of social interaction is also very important. You may examine the social dynamics of multiplayer video games and their impact on children's social skills, friendships, and online behavior, considering factors such as cooperation, competition, and communication or evaluate the effects of prolonged video game use on children's physical health, including sedentary behavior, posture-related issues, and risks of obesity or repetitive strain injuries. Finally, mention the relationship between video game use and children's emotional well-being, including effects on mood regulation, 
stress levels, and symptoms of anxiety or depression. Among the most common factors mentioned with reference to video games is violence. In your presentation on this topic, you may analyze the potential impact of violent video games on children's attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors related to aggression and desensitization to violence. It is a great point to examine the prevalence of gaming addiction and problematic gaming behaviors among children, including risk factors, warning signs, and potential interventions for addressing excessive gaming habits. An interesting issue to discuss is gender representation in video games and its implications for children's attitudes towards gender roles, stereotypes, and diversity, considering both female and male characters' portrayals. You may also focus your presentation on the role of parental mediation and supervision in children's video game use, including strategies for setting limits, monitoring content, and promoting responsible gaming habits. One more point to consider is how cultural factors influence children's video game preferences, consumption patterns, and interpretations of game content, highlighting variations across different cultural contexts and regions. Now, let's move to the next topic. The topic of drinking age is truly interesting to explore for the presentation. It is argued that drinking age of 21 is too high. If you are working on the presentation on this topic, you may consider analyzing the potential public health benefits and risks associated with lowering the drinking age, considering factors such as alcohol-related harm, substance abuse prevention, and health promotion initiatives. Further, you may investigate the effectiveness of alcohol education and awareness programs in reducing alcohol misuse and promoting responsible drinking behaviors among young adults, exploring strategies for implementation and evaluation. Examine the role of social norms and cultural attitudes towards alcohol consumption in shaping drinking patterns and attitudes towards lowering the drinking age, considering cultural differences and historical contexts. Compare drinking age policies and outcomes across different countries with varying legal drinking ages, assessing the impact on alcohol-related harm, youth drinking rates, and societal attitudes towards alcohol use. Evaluate the legal and regulatory frameworks necessary to lower the drinking age safely and effectively, including considerations such as alcohol licensing laws, enforcement mechanisms, and penalties for underage drinking. Among the subtopics for the presentation on lowering the drinking age, you may also explore the importance of parental involvement and community support in addressing underage drinking and promoting responsible alcohol consumption among young adults, highlighting collaborative approaches and community-based interventions, investigate the role of alcohol marketing and advertising in shaping drinking behaviors and attitudes among young adults, considering the potential impact of deregulation or restrictions on marketing practices in the context of lowering the drinking age. Examine the role of alcohol marketing and advertising in shaping drinking behaviors and attitudes among young adults, considering the potential impact of deregulation or restrictions on marketing practices in the context of lowering the drinking age. Evaluate the effectiveness of designated driver programs in reducing alcohol-impaired driving and promoting responsible drinking behaviors, considering innovative approaches to incentivize designated driving and provide alternative transportation options. Finally, mention community-based interventions aimed at reducing underage drinking and alcohol-related harm, including initiatives such as social norms campaigns, responsible beverage service programs, and enforcement of underage drinking laws. The topic of homelessness remains relevant for several decades already. Discussing the issue of homelessness, start with exploring the economic ramifications of homelessness. Next, investigate the public health implications of homelessness, including increased risk of infectious diseases, mental health disorders, substance abuse, and inadequate access to health care services. Examine the effectiveness of social welfare programs and support services in addressing homelessness, including shelters, transitional housing, job training, and mental health counseling. Mention the role of housing affordability and availability in contributing to homelessness, considering factors such as rising rental prices, insufficient affordable housing stock, and eviction policies. Discuss the impact of urban development and gentrification on homelessness, including displacement of low-income residents, loss of affordable housing, and changes in neighborhood demographics. 
let's take a look at the additional factors associated with homelessness. In your presentation for a college assignment, you can examine the practice of criminalizing homelessness through laws targeting activities such as sleeping in public spaces, panhandling, and loitering, and its implications for human rights and social justice. Explore the educational barriers faced by homeless children and youth, including frequent school transfers, lack of stable housing, and limited access to academic resources and support services. Investigate the complex relationship between homelessness and mental health issues, including factors such as trauma, substance abuse, access to treatment, and stigma surrounding mental illness. Talk about the prevalence and unique challenges faced by homeless veterans, including post-traumatic stress disorder, disabilities, and inadequate access to veterans services and benefits. Finally, discuss the impact of family homelessness on children, parents, and communities, including risks of child maltreatment, disrupted family dynamics, and long-term effects on child development and well-being. Now let's check out the next topic. The topic of online dating offers endless opportunities for an argumentative type of a presentation. If you consider choosing this topic for your paper, these are the advantages of online dating to write about. First, online dating platforms provide access to a larger pool of potential partners, increasing the chances of finding a compatible match. Online dating allows individuals to connect with others at their own convenience, regardless of time or location making it accessible to people with busy lifestyles. Many online dating sites use sophisticated matching algorithms to pair individuals based on compatibility factors such as interests, values, and personality traits. Also, online dating offers a platform for introverted individuals to initiate and maintain connections with others without the pressure of face-to-face -face interactions, fostering communication, and relationship building. Moreover, Users can specify their preferences and criteria for potential partners, such as age, location, interests, and relationship goals, allowing for targeted searches and more tailored matchmaking. Now let's discuss the five main disadvantages of online dating. Online dating profiles may be misleading or inaccurate, leading to disappointment or deception when meeting in person, as individuals may embellish their appearance, achievements, or interest. Next, online communication lacks the nuances of face-to-face -face interaction, making it challenging to gauge chemistry attraction and compatibility accurately, potentially leading to mismatches or misunderstandings. In addition, online dating platforms are vulnerable to scams, catfishing, and fraudulent behavior as individuals may exploit others for financial gain, emotional manipulation, or identity theft, posing risks to users' safety and security. You may also mention that the abundance of options on online dating platforms can be overwhelming and paradoxically reduce commitment as individuals may continuously seek better matches or experience decision paralysis when faced with too many choices. Finally, online dating often prioritizes physical appearance and superficial criteria in initial attraction and matchmaking, leading to shallow interactions and overlooking compatibility factors such as personality and value. Our new topic is very interesting chose for your presentation because it is not so commonly used. The topic is to handle the pressure coming from difficult people. The first strategy you may discuss in your presentation is the communication techniques for effectively interacting with difficult people, including active listening, assertive communication, and setting boundaries to maintain constructive dialogue. You may also explore the importance of empathy and perspective, taking in dealing with difficult individuals. Acknowledging their feelings and experiences while maintaining emotional boundaries and self-care. The special attention should be paid to the strategies for managing conflict and resolving disputes with difficult people, including negotiation, compromise, and finding common ground to reach mutually acceptable solutions. You may also discuss techniques for managing emotions and staying calm in challenging interactions with difficult individuals, such as mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, and stress management techniques. Finally, explore the importance of setting clear expectations and boundaries with difficult people, establishing guidelines for behavior and consequences for violating them to maintain accountability. Thank you for your attention. If you think this video is helpful, 
Please like and subscribe for more students to see it.